Welcome Libra. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. So whenever you see this video is when it is right for you. And um, if it doesn't resonate, go and check out your other birth placements. They might have some messages in there for you. Okay, so we're using the Grace cards to begin with. And then a Nature's Whispers Oracle and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Libra. Let's have a look, see here. Three cards for Libra, please. No, I don't like how that came out. Three cards for Libra. That's better. Nice. Nice. One more card for Libra. No, I don't like that. One more card for Libra, please. There it is. There it is. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so Libra. That one flipped up there. Honor. I'll leave that on the top in case I feel called to use that. Okay, so we have Ask. When we call upon the divine for guidance and support, we will receive a response. Spiritual signposts will be put in our path to guide us to our highest good. Love it. Love it. Yeah, it's a matter of looking out for those, right, Libra? Okay. And here's the thing, Libra, is sometimes those things are the scariest, right? So it can push us out of our comfort zone, yeah? Okay, so surrender. Surrender is the key. That unlocks the door to grace. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes, it totally is. Okay, right. I'm getting all excited for you. Okay, settling down right now. Settling down. Beauty. <clears throat> Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. Yeah. And here's the thing, Libra, right? Whatever environment you're in, Whatever the circumstances, there's always beauty to be found somewhere, even in the smallest of things. So really focus on that at the moment, okay? Alrighty, so ask. Two cards for ask for Libra, please. When we call upon the divine for guidance and support, we will receive a response. Spiritual signposts will be put in our path to guide us to our highest good. Ooh, ooh, oh, I almost had it. Hang on, Libra. Okay. Clear out the old. Clear out the old. Oh, yeah. Rightio, rightio. See this, this is jumping out at me first and foremost here, Libra, is this keyhole. The keyhole to the heart, right? And then surrender is the key that unlocks the door to grace. This is where grace is in your heart. So here's a question for you to ponder upon, Libra. What is it that you are closing your heart to? Because the key is not in the keyhole. You can see through the keyhole. You can see the beauty that lays beyond opening that door to the heart and I'm now drawn to this here this is something ancient it opens the door to something within you which is ancient yeah well, let me read this again when we call upon the divine for guidance and support we will receive a response 
spiritual signposts will be in our put in our path to guide us to our highest good. Hmm. This is deep. This is deep. There's this wisdom within you too, Libra, that um, is kind of like once you unlock this, once you surrender and the door of grace opens, this wisdom, this ancient wisdom will come forth. And it's kind of like you're sitting there watching this about you and it's sort of like this can't be me, but it is you. Wow. Okay. Two cards for clear out the old. So, yeah, see, this is the thing. What is the old debris here, Libra? Oh, well, that was quick. That is, that is, you know, causing you to keep this locked up. What is that? What is that? Okay, so totality. Mm. Totality. For some of you, this is reaching out. For some of you, this is reaching out. For others of you, this is lack of trust that anyone will have you. That any like it's sort of like there's this fear, this fear of grabbing this other person's hands. It's sort of like you almost get there and then it doesn't happen, right? It's like almost, almost. And then bam, it doesn't quite reach that that um, that connection. It just is not not quite there, in a sense. And there's this lack of trust. There's a lack of trust because this person on this swing here looks like they're not really stretching to me. Is it interesting? I've never seen this before, but this one here is really trying. The one in the middle is really trying, and this one here is. Trying their hardest as well, but this one here is like, mm, if you can't make it here, then you know, yeah, it's really interesting. Never seen that in that card before. Patience, patience, patience with yourself. Things take time, things take time to grow, yeah. And and maybe this is this. Okay, okay, so this is clearing things out, it takes time, it doesn't happen overnight, okay, and, um, you know, it's like acrobats, right, they, they can't just jump on a swing and then pull out this trick and Bob's your uncle, away they go, they have to practice and practice and practice, right, they've got the safety net beneath them, but there's no safety net here. So I wonder if that's what scares you. It's sort of like if I fall though, there's nothing to catch me. But the fact of the matter is, grace is there to catch you, right? Grace is there. And it's having that faith. It's having the faith in that. That when you clear out the old, it's going to... Make it clear to you that the support is there from grace. Hmm. Yes. Gratitude and appreciation. Love that. See, this is what I was talking about before, the little things. The little things. You know, when you see a horse, see it as a unicorn, right? Like these little things. Just like we used to do when we were young. You know, imaginary games. That we used to play, you know. Yeah, two cards for gratitude and appreciation, please, Libra. Oh, wow, this is very interesting because I tell you what, Libra, all the other signs so far have been so quick. Like, it's just come so quick. I can't believe we're already nine minutes in. Like, seriously. By the way, Libra, when I went to, like, um, start, you know, with my process that I do before I press the camera um before I press record it was 11 11 on the clock so this doesn't surprise me that this is going down this track here this reading for you okay Libra anyway ordinariness yeah see this is about what you can grow 
what you can grow. You know, you, you can see this as ordinary. Oh, yeah, it's just a meh um, thing. Or you can see it as this. This is what I can grow. This is what really, what looks ordinary really contains this, right? This is, you know, very important for you to, to see things in a different light here. Okay, and we have abundance, yeah, because that's going to bring you an abundance of more of that. Right? It's going to, yeah. So if you're in a situation that you're not particularly happy about, dream, Libra, dream. Focus on, on what it is that you want. Feel it. Be it. Right? Focus on it. Because that's going to bring more of that for you. Not the lack of it. Don't focus on the lack of it. Focus on having it and what it would feel like as though it's true. And then surrender it. Surrender it, right? Surrender is the key that locks, unlocks the door to grace. Okay, so where are we? We're using these cards here. I'm more like, well, okay, so two cards for surrender. For Libra, please. Two cards. It's upside down. The suspicion is real. Okay. One more card for Libra, please. Talent. The talent is real too. Okay, maybe I should join the circus. Nah. Okay. So that is hope and happiness and we have renewal of peace. Yes, renewal of peace. Renewal of the peace. This is, this is the thing. The peace is who you truly are. Like the love is who you truly are. And it's going back to this innocence. And bringing that through. That inner peace. Right? This is what unlocks the door to grace. Surrendering to the renewal of peace. Love it. Okay, two cards for renewal of peace. For Libra, please. Oh, dang, it landed over there. Hang on a minute, Libra. Okay, Libra. Here we go. We have the fool and the lovers. This could be a new journey in love. Okay, um, it could be a new journey in love with yourself. And this is what I was talking about before. It's sort of like this, this wisdom, bringing the wisdom through and sitting there and looking at it like, is this truly me? Did I truly say that? Or did I really actually bring that through, right? Allowing this to come through. This could also be a choice that you make about a new path that you go on. And it feels like, Libra, going back to this peace, to the renewal of peace, the innocence of who you truly are, is going to help you with deciding which direction you want to go in. Okay, surrendering is the key that unlocks the door to grace. And it's that path that is the one that is going to feel most at home for you to travel. Albeit scary, albeit maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, you'll know deep inside, Libra, you'll know. Okay, hope and happiness, yeah. What is going to lead you to that hope and happiness? 100%. Okay, let me get these cards here. Okay, so two cards for hope and happiness for Libra, please. Two cards for hope and happiness for Libra. That one has flipped over, but I like them to jump out. <laughs> I just caught that, but that was magic. I don't know if you saw that or not, but okay. Okay. I feel like I have to keep shuffling. That flipped over, didn't jump out. So we're doing this. Okay, so the first one we had was flowering. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, Libra, this is about you rising up into this, this empress energy of who you truly are. You know, sort of 
the hope and happiness what what does that look like for you what do, how do you want to see yourself not what you want for your life not what you want on the external but internally i think this this love is here is this how do you want how do you see yourself right how do you see yourself and encompassing the power of that the power of who you truly are right and really standing in that power okay <sighs> turning in yes turning into this renewal of peace here surrendering to that okay closing all the outside chatter from other people and yourself and really allowing that peace to reign through your energy field Okay, and friendliness here. Yeah, see, this very well could be a new relationship for some of you, 100%. But I do want to say that when you are in this state, okay, what you will attract is the same thing. Okay, you will attract that which is you. You can't not. And if there is anything that doesn't match that, right, if there's anything that isn't quite connecting, you're going to be like, yeah, mate, pick another swing because we're on this one. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so, last card here, beauty. Alrighty. Two cards for beauty for Libra, please. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. And that's so true, right? Like, when you look at the, the landscape and, and the flowers and all the other beauty, you know, the sunsets and all that stuff, that's all the from the divine, right? So, and I'm thinking with this flowering here as well. It's also us. We are the divine, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so we've got vulnerability here, and we also have fresh approach. Okay, I don't know if I've ever had fresh approach come out before, honestly. Anyway, vulnerability. Yeah, see, this is interesting because again this is this childlike there could be some inner healing inner child healing that needs to be done here libra for sure for sure you know um but this vulnerability is again see this person is on this leaf here and the leaf is brittle and it doesn't feel like it's capable of carrying you down the stream and yet she sleeps in here like it's okay She's vulnerable to the elements, but she's okay. She knows she's okay. So, you know, this is, I suppose, you know, when you look at the divine and what it creates, it's created us. So we know we're okay. We're going to be looked after no matter what. Okay, so vulnerability. Even if it feels like these times that are absolutely awful in our lives, and there are those times, you know, but the thing is that, Libra, ultimately, we're okay. And if we tap in to the truth of who we are, which is the divine, nothing can get us. Nothing. Okay, so here we go. Consciousness, yep, this is us. This is us, Libra. Sitting in this consciousness of who we truly are. The truth of who we truly are. You look at this energy here, nothing phases it, ever, because it knows, it knows who it is, and that is the divine, it is the consciousness, it is that, it is, mm -hmm. and then we have playfulness, yeah man, what do you think? What do you think we're here? We're here to play. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy. We're here to experience and experiment. Right? So the divine can have the experience of life on earth. Fresh approach. Take a fresh approach to how you approach your life. Right? Uh, wrong deck here we go okay so two cards for fresh approach for libra please surround yourself with simple pleasures beauty is the language of the divine 
Okay, so two cards. A fresh approach for Libra, please. One more. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Okay. So we've got ripeness here and we have the miser. Okay. Yeah. The day has come for you to stop holding back, for you to stop um, shining your light. It's time, Libra. It's time to bring it out. Yep. And this here, this here looks like this person still wants to hold on to it, still wants to, oh, I don't know about that. But it is time, for sure, it is time. Because when you do, when you do, Libra, you are going to shock yourself even. You really are. I think you will surprise yourself as to exactly what you're capable of, of your abilities. Because here's the thing, right? It's like a train. The train sits at the station and it can't go forward until the train driver jumps in it and presses the button for it to go forward. And it's like that. It's like you're sitting in the station. All the passengers are aboard the train. It's time to leave the station. And still you sit. So this is really about working out what is it that you're afraid of and pushing through anyway. Pushing through anyway, Libra. Okay? Because once you do, you will find that grace is there to support you. Why? Because you are the divine. I'm going to leave that with you, Libra. Take care of your divine, beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.